Yeah, rain, road courses, and a lot of cautions this week. Lots to talk about in just five, six minutes. So this is FR Racing's Garage Talk. We can recap. I'm DJ Flock. I'm Eric Richardson. Well, the Formula One race started off very wet. Um, pretty dramatic. Yeah, overall, it was pretty good. Didn't was probably... actually know who was going to win until actually at the end. Yeah, it was one of those that, yeah, there was some issues. There was some you know, rain. Ferrari had a horrible day. Williams had a horrible day. Max got a you know big jump on the restart as he so frequently does. And there are probably four or five cars that were capable of winning that race today. Yeah, it was about a four or five car race. It was good to see. Formula One needs it. Yeah, yeah, it's... Uh... And and Max was complaining his car was not you know he was having some issues and it's just yeah it's been exciting it's been exciting the last few weeks and well I mean it's, you know, it's outside of Monaco but uh, crazy crazy week uh, moving on to a little deeper on that on Wednesday too yes from, yes we got a lot to cover in five <laughs> minutes so uh, IndyCar a uh, pretty wild weekend there you know Newgarden destroying his car and you get a Penske one two three. Yeah, the first like 10, 15 laps were kind of wild and then it just ran green and a little bit of drama, but more or less turned into a snooze fest. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't too terribly exciting. I didn't catch a ton of it. I caught the early drama and I caught part um, towards the end with about five to go and then I I left, but I'm like, okay, that was something. Yeah, the gap was set up with estimated time loss on pit road that all three Pinsky cars would cycle through their pits and basically I'll be neck and neck, but that didn't pan out. Nope. Will power snaps. <clears throat> it was a long streak. I forget what it was, but and then he, he said he forgot how to do donuts and yeah. uh, stalled out the car celebrating. <laughs> yeah, that'll happen. Went 16 years with a race win and that ended last season. Yeah, that was, that was pretty wild. So, um, you know, yeah. Will Penske get through this round of road course wins without disqualifications? No, I got to make the joke there. They were really good on restarts. And yes, they... better than everybody else. Yes, yes, they were. A lot of, a lot of scrutiny there, uh, and, and deservedly so. Not to intentionally throw shade at them, but... Hey, you know what? When you get caught... And they're that good on restarts. Mm interesting when you get caught you know cheating uh, people are always going to be questioning you after that like you've you've regardless of what the true story is which i don't i don't think we have you know it's oh well it is what it is and nascar went to sonoma svg he he was passed zero times under green on track yesterday during the Xfinity race. And I think the next slowest was like 29 times past back to back ring uh, wins. Yeah. It's uh looked really good out there. Him and, uh, and I got this SVG Austin Hill rivalry. That's, that's really perking up. Uh, Hill is not happy post race with the celebration and gave him the number one gesture. Not the, not the nice one. <laughs> the other one. <laughs> Not, yeah. not the thumbs Hill, up either. Hill's not making many friends right now. No. And he saw his post-it race. You know, he's like, I'll just let the keyboard warriors decide because no matter what I say, I'm wrong or you know, something like that. It's yeah, put like yourself that. in that position. Uh so cup race. A lot of a lot of cautions early on. Stage uh, one and stage two, I think, were more yellow flag laps and green flag laps. Uh, and you saw uh, Byron had a tire go down in early on, and then you had Ty Gibbs, the hard smack of the wall. Yeah, I was in and out on that race, watched the last few laps, and pit, alternate pit strategy ended up paying off. Kyle Larson had, what, 10, 12 lap newer tires, and that made the difference. Yep, and then Truex runs out of gas, like, what, 100 yards from the finish line? Yeah, I think it was in the hairpin. Or just, leading into the hairpin, just couldn't. Just stalled out right after that. Kyle Busch just rolled across the line on fumes. 
Truex um, was in the what top three until yeah, that? he's running third. Yeah, he's running third, and I think he finished twenty seventh because of that. That's brutal on the lead lap, though. Yeah, because he did get to the finish line without help. He did. I I did not see that. I between having I think it was the car in gear and restarting it was able just to get enough <laughs> movement with the battery to push push it across yeah. the line. I was about to and say Christopher Kyle Bell Bush getting him a push. Happy with Ross Chastain either. Hmm. What's new? Yeah, those two are going at it towards the end. Yeah, Chastain got in on the inside of him. Kyle Busch spun, so he's mad at Chastain. Yeah, well, that's Which, yeah. They made contact, but hey, par it's racing. Course. Last lap. What do you expect? You're going for a top five. I, I tell you, as as a kid, I did not like. You know, it was always you know Watkins Glen and you know, Sear, you know was, was Sears Point back in the day, and I I couldn't stand those weeks as a kid. Now it's just like, man, I really like the uh, the Glen and the Sonoma races. They're they're a lot of fun. I'm, a lot better road racers now too. Yeah, before you just had the two, three guys that were really good, and now it's everybody in the field is yeah, yeah, solid. Like Watkins Glen, it was like, okay, is it going to be Jeff Gordon? Is it going to be Tony Stewart? You know, in the early two thousands, and it's just, yeah, it's changed a lot, and you've know, got some of these road course ringers like Almondinger, and I mean, I guess they called Boris said a road course ringer, but I don't, I don't know if I've ever seen him. He did race in the Xfinity race this weekend. Actually, after wrecking a car, yeah. Well, we can talk about more of those ringers on Wednesday. Yes, yeah. all the ringers really don't pan out too often. No, no, they don't. But so, we'll, are they uh, really ringers? We'll uh, we'll have the full show where we jump in deeper at the end of the week. But uh, you know, this week we've got Wednesday Night Dash on uh, from Sonoma, actually. So, we'll yeah. be doing our road course race of the truck season. That will be something. And, ready uh, for it to be over already? Yeah, and you got the USF uh, 2000 uh, mini training series. There's two more weeks of that. Yeah, we'll be at Long Beach on Tuesday. Yep, so if you are uh, looking at getting into the Indy Racing World Series, and go into that, and we're still got a couple more weeks to give away the uh, Tyler Reddick Fender. So go to frracingonline.com forward slash contest, enter, get your bonus entries in there, and we'll give it away at the end of the month. So... Uh, thanks for tuning in and we will see you at the end of the week for the full show. All right. Take care. We'll see you soon.